Did you get to watch the uh, A and E documentary on Rey Mysterio yet? I actually watched it last night. I'm I'm, I'm at the point where he's getting re- he's in WCW, but I wanted to ask uh, the WWE stuff uh, or not the WWE stuff. I'm sorry, the ECW stuff. Was it uh, what was what were the, I know in WCW? I always heard the boys were kind of laughing until they saw what he could do. What did everybody think of him in ECW when they first saw him before he wrestled? I should say. Uh, okay, we were in New York. Okay, we, I think we were on Queens Boulevard, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and I, I, we showed up, and I remember Paul, you know, I was like, who are we working tonight? And he's like, oh, we're working these. Conan brought some guys in from Mexico, which I said, oh, cool, you know, because when Conan came in, he came in by himself first. He did tag up with me and my partner in Six Man. I don't know what it is, but everybody that comes in usually tags up with me and Anthony and do stuff, you know, which is, uh, I, hey, I love it. I have no problem with it. But yeah, he was uh, the Hulk Hogan of Mexico at that point. And I guess he told Todd, uh, Todd Gordon and Paul Heyman, I got some talent I can bring over here. And it was the first time they ever came to the United States, those guys. And we were, like I said, in New York. And he's like, you're working uh, Mexican kids. And I'm like, well, where are they at? And he's like, they're over there. So I just, you know, glanced over and I was like, holy shit, like those kids? And he's like, yeah. I said, that kid looks like he's 12 years old or 13 years old. He's like, yeah, they're luchadors. I'm like, okay. So I guess they build them small in Mexico. He said, yeah. He goes, but don't worry. They wear masks. Go out there and do your thing. I personally think he wanted us to crush them and just destroy them. But we didn't go out there and do that because I didn't I, I, I didn't want to bury him, number one. Number two, he didn't say to bury him. He just said, go out there and have a good match. I was like, okay. Uh, I didn't realize until I got out there how actually great they were. I'm not saying good, but I'm saying great as far as high spots, like unbelievable. Juventud Guerrero, uh, and it was Rey Mysterio, the two that came in. And, you know, Juve was really small, too, but long hair. Uh, we killed it. I mean, I thought we had a great match. I mean, when I left the, the, the ring and the people loved it, and I was happy. But I don't think Paul liked it. I think Paul said I gave, we gave him too much. But, you know, until everybody saw them work against each other, that's when the locker room was just like, oh, my God, now we have we have to really step it up now. Look at these guys. So, uh, no, everybody opened arm open. They, were, they had their arms wide open and said, welcome. You know, we were happy to have them because they were that talented. 